basically the way the band started was I was in an old band with Nate and he played drums for that band. Once that band ended, we decided that we wanted to write some pop music. Petey called me a couple months after that and he's like, hey man, I, I wrote some songs, let me know what you think. I had had a bunch of songs that I had written. I, I basically just recorded everything into my computer. I took a listen and it turns out they were really good. We booked studio time to record the demos. From there, we wanted to kind of make a live band. So what we did was we searched for a bass player and we found Patrick through a friend of ours. I was living in uh, North Carolina at the time and Petey hit me up. He was looking for someone that played bass and sang. So I drove down to Florida. He drove down seven hours just to jam with us. He sounded great, so we knew he'd be a, an awesome addition to the band, so that's when Patrick came into the band. Brandon came in a little bit later and kind of secured the lineup. He had been a friend of ours for a long time here in Orlando. Before I joined the band, I was already friends with PD, Patrick, and Nate. Once I found out they needed a guitarist, I let them know that I was available. Then we all went and jammed at practice, and uh, it seemed to really click. So that's how Emily came together. So about around the time the EP came out, we traveled to a place called American Samoa, and they had been playing our music there for a while. It was just crazy when we got there. There were, there were people waiting for us at the airport. We had a little police escort, and there was pe there were people lined up for for miles, like just just to get into the show. We played in front of over 8,000 people, and it was just mind blowing. It was pretty awesome. And since they were playing our song on the radio, everyone already knew the lyrics to it, so they were singing along, and it was uh, it was really really cool. Emily has been a very lucky band in a lot of ways and a very unlucky band in a lot of ways. Our touring experience has not gone without its uh, fair share of troubles. We've been on three tours now. We have had three different vans. The second one, transmission exploded, spewing transmission fluid. Our trailer axle has, the bearing has literally melted off of the axle. Two times now. We were on the way back to Florida and there was really bad snow and the highway that we were on got like completely shut down and we were in our van for 20 hours straight. So after all this trouble, we finally got signed to Fearless Records. We're really excited about it. It's like the greatest thing that could ever happen for a musician. We're really excited about 2010. We think it's going to be a great year for us. We're ready to really take things to the next level and do a lot of exciting things. Hopefully hop on some bigger tours and meet a lot more people every night. It's like a dream that every mus musician has and it's definitely a dream that we've all had since and I've had since I've been a child. To be in a band that's really doing it on a label, touring all the time. It's a big honor to be on such a great label and we're super excited for our future with Fearless Records. I expect big things to happen for us and for them in the next year so I think it's going to be really fun and really awesome. We got signed to Fearless and we definitely couldn't do it, obviously, without the support of all our fans. I just want to thank every fan out there. Like, I thank you for everything that you've done. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be signed to Fearless. We have had great fan support. It's amazing. We really appreciate everything that every fan does for us and thank you guys. Anyone that enjoys our music, I can't thank them enough. And. Uh, you know, we're just gonna keep doing it, you know, until someone tells us to stop. We really owe it all to them, you know? And that's, that's why we're doing this, is like, you know, our music, we, we love making music and doing everything, but it wouldn't mean anything unless the fans were there. So, thanks to all the fans that really make this possible. Hopefully we can spread our music to a lot of other people and make them become fans. Tell me what you mean.